In another video, I covered the basics of sketching, and this is part one of a video series that's going to take a deep dive into sketch mode, and this video is going to cover the sketch setup. And I'm doing this video in Creo Parametric 5.0, Along the way in the series, I'll point out differences between 5.0 and some of the earlier versions of Creo Parametric. Okay, there are two different ways of getting into sketch mode. And the quick way is by selecting your sketch plane, that's whatever flat plane or surface or datum plane that you want to sketch on, and then clicking on the sketch button in the mini toolbar that became available in Creo Parametric 4.0 and later, or you could use the sketch tool from the model tab in the ribbon. And when I click on that, it takes me right into sketch mode. Now I'm gonna cancel out in a moment, but I just wanna point out these blue dash lines, which are gonna factor into our sketch setup. These blue dash lines are known as sketch references. And when you sketch any geometry, you're going to get weak dimensions, and those weak dimensions are going to be located with respect to those sketch references. So you can sort of think of them as the X and Y axes of the sketch. And also, when you sketch geometry, like sketching a line, it's going to be able to lock into those different references. And also to explain the sketch setup, I'm going to show you one other control in here. In the In Graphics toolbar, you have the ability to change to a sketch view, and that sketch view puts your sketch plane parallel to the computer screen. And sometimes they can, this can be preferable to sketching when you have the model rotated. Just click the button, and you're able to go to your sketch view. Okay, let's cancel out so I can explain the sketch setup dialog box. So again, last time when I got into sketch mode, I just clicked on the sketch plane that I wanted to use, and then clicked the sketch tool. This time, I'm going to flip the order. I'm going to pick my sketch tool first, and that gives me a sketch setup dialog box, and it wants me to pick my sketch plane. Let's pick the same sketch plane as before. And when I do that, you'll notice that I get this arrow on the computer screen for defining my view direction. So. In sketch mode, what that does is when you click on the sketch view to make your sketch plane parallel to the computer screen, am I going to be looking at this surface in this direction or if I click on the arrow, I can flip the direction that I'm looking at my sketch plane when I change to that sketch view. To change it again, you can click on the arrow. There's also a flip button here in the sketch setup dialog box. Now there's another reference in here, and I like to call that my orientation reference plane. This defines how your model is going to be oriented when you click on that sketch view button, and also it orients your sketch on the sketching plane. And here at Creo Parametric is suggesting the bottom surface of the model. Uh, Creo Parametric is going to select some entity that is perpendicular to your sketch plane and have it face either the top, the bottom, the left, or the right of the computer screen. And you don't have to change this, but one thing I recommend is that you only use something as a reference plane that you intend to use as a sketch reference later on. This will minimize the number of references in your model and make your features more stable. For example, if I know that I'm going to dimension from this side of the part, I can pick it to use as my orientation reference. Maybe I want that to face the left side of the screen if I click on the sketch view. All right, let me click on the sketch button to show you that. And so now when I go into sketch mode, again, I can click on that sketch view button and it reorients my model based on that viewing direction that I selected, and it's having this surface face the left side of the computer screen. Okay, I wanna mention a couple other things about the Sketch Setup dialog box. Uh, if you are in Sketcher and you realize that you wanna make some changes, you have a Sketch Setup dialog 
or excuse me, a sketch setup button in the ribbon that you can click on and it brings it up. And so from here, you can choose to change your sketch plane or your orientation reference or your viewing direction if you don't like how it's set up when you're going into the sketch view. Uh, another button that you have in here is use previous. Sometimes when you're creating a sketch, you want to use the same sketch plane and viewing direction and orientation reference that you used for your immediately previous sketch. Hey, this button allows you to get to it quickly and easily. There's also a properties tab. This is one place where you can change the name of the feature in addition to changing it directly in the model tree after it's created. And once you have geometry that forms a closed loop, you could turn on cross hatching. You could have that sketch's interior area be cross hatched. But let me cancel out of there. And again, I am back into sketch mode. And so that concludes the first video discussing the sketch setup uh, dialog box. And in the next video, we'll go through the sketcher interface. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please check out www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the Creo Parametric channel to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.